our end disappointed uh, that we reacted and didn't respond and you know to me chippy fouls and and uh to have more poison composure and 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 uh you know we made we had some runs and we we got out in transition and but they just made a mess in the paint you know they just crowded it and and we and we ran over i don't we had three offensive fouls i think and between both halves a couple early but uh you know we you know we know we're better than that we got to play better than that control what you can control but you know i thought it got ugly and muddy and I think we were two. We had 11 offensive rebounds and made two of those in the in the first half. At some point, you got to sit down, and recognize there's some contact, and finish. And thought we just kind of kept chucking it up there, not not on balance and and, and not with much um, intent other than to get it out of our hands. And but those things we can learn. The good thing is we're shooting layups and and that's good. Now we need to make them. But the better news is we kept trying to chase them and go get all those offensive rebounds uh, on a night where it was just a struggle for us to score. But Give them credit, I, and, and that's good for us. That's really, really good for us to have to feel what that feels like. So that's why I said to them, we play in the Big 12, right? It's physical. That should be to our advantage, and, and, and spurts how we handled it. It wasn't, I mean, or it was neutralized. Uh, we didn't take advantage of it, but that's a team that's going to win some games, and, and that's a game for us that, that'll help us, and, and we can grow from that. They went almost 10 minutes with us. Yeah. Uh, some I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't give us. I wouldn't give us that much credit. And the the good news is we won. The bad news is I feel certain it's going to look worse on film than it did live. And it looked real bad on bad live most possessions. So, you know, we we sped them up some. You know, some. But just things from scouting report defense. You know, forcing some kids to use their left hand who continually ripped and drove it right. You know, even if it was a myth, that that's agonizing to me because I know in our league we're going to have to do that with some people and every time force them to a hand that they're not as good at as the other and. We broke down there, and, and you know sometimes we could have pinched on a drive, and, and we're not. We're out denying a guy who we'd be okay with if they caught it, maybe even shot it, playing the percentages, and we fouled. You know those kinds of things. You can't, you, you know, from a, from a lack of focus and, and concentration standpoint, we just broke down, and a lot of that was us. I mean, there wasn't a lot of that was them. I mean, you know, if I if I want to go right and you let me go right, I'm probably going to go right and have some success. So. Uh, was it, was maybe the tape worked okay. Feet, yeah, the tape worked really fine. I didn't like it when it was stuck together because I feel like I just can't move my fingers at all. So I just like just wrapped that finger and I, it kind of like it throbbed throughout the game. But like the tape made it feel a little better. We'll talk about the offense tonight, maybe on both sides. Seems like we always talk about how good shooting is contagious. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, is bad shooting contagious as well? Because neither team put the, put the ball in the basket much tonight. Yeah, I really. Well, I just looked at. Um, we just looked at the uh, the percentages on our half because me and Monty were talking earlier and uh, I didn't know it was that bad though <laughs> but um, yeah it, I don't know if we were just rushing shots weren't shooting we weren't shooting the right shots um, I think we kind of like was antsy a little bit on the offensive end and uh, weren't weren't picking the right or weren't selecting the right shots and um, and that that gets contagious because you start to rush and rush and then you want to you want to try to play together but then like it just gets out of sorts so um, I think when that happens you just got to come together and say let's chill, we got this, let's play our game and um, just pull together as a team. It seemed like both teams kind of fed off each other's poor <laughs> shooting display. You know, I, I think for us, I think we kind of got out, a little bit outside of ourselves a little bit and the nerves going and we weren't thinking everything through. So I I think that's about it. Is this game pretty physical for, for an opener and for, I don't want to call them, you know, a, a lower division team, but for a smaller school, this seemed more like a Similar to like a Big 12 game, almost. This yeah, time of year. Um, I think that kind of caught us off guard a little bit. Um, but I think the most important thing is we got to bounce back. If they're going to be aggressive, we got to be aggressive back. And I think it's it's good that the refs let us play a little bit. I think at times it kind of showed, you know, maybe we got a little frustrated, but then you got to realize, okay, they're letting us play, so we got to kind of give them a little bark back. So. Do you feel like that you guys defended pretty well? I know they only scored. 11 points and their shooting percentage, 11 points in the first half, and their shooting percentages were way down. Yeah, um, I think so, but I think there's still a lot of things that we can work on. So.